Dead games here. Razor Ripsaw HD. You got one? I got one too. Let's check it out. So guys, you think you want to record some video game footage on your computer? You know what device you need? You need the Razer Ripsaw HD. I'm going to show you very simply how to hook it up. I'm going to show you why you might want one of these things. Go over to Razer's website, $159.99, and you can acquire one of these bad boys. Brand new. What can it do? You might have heard of other gaming capture cards, like the Elgato. This one's better. This does full HD, 1080 at 60 frames. No problem every day of the week. But where this little bad boy has the leg up on something like an Elgato, if you're busting out your Xbox One X and you're playing that 4K at 60, that Elgato can't do it. The Razor Ripsaw Cat. This has 4K, 60 frames per second pass through. So it cannot record at 4K. It can pass through. So when you're playing on this and you got to go on your TV and you got your Xbox One X, you can still see that 4K beautifulness on your TV. But this guy can record 1080 at 60 frames. Good enough for anybody watching one of these videos. Also, on the front, as I'll show you later, has a microphone in and a headphone in. So you could do full audio mixing right with this thing. You don't need one of these Yamaha things. You don't need something else. You can do full audio mixing right off this unit. It's got the HDMI 2.0. It's got the USB 3.0. They're claiming zero latency. So you're not going to be like, uh, 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 uh. no. Got the 3.5 millimeter for easy audio connectivity. I'm going to show you in one, two, three steps. How to hook this bad boy up. You're going to be taking HDMI in, HDMI out. Then you're going to power it with a USB type C. I'm going to show you that sweet B roll right now. And we can hook it up together. The Razer Ripsaw HD. Wow. Two inputs on the front, one for a microphone, one for some headphones. And around back, you have three inputs, one HDMI in, one HDMI out, and a Type-C. HDMI back of the PS4 into the end of the Razer Ripsaw. Now from the out of the Razer Ripsaw to your television. Then to power it, we need a Type-C from the Razer Ripsaw to your computer. Now only on a PlayStation 4, you must go over, find your settings. Scroll all the way down to system. Make sure that enable HDCP, the box is unchecked. At this point, you've taken one HDMI cable from your PlayStation 4, the back of it, to the end of your ripsaw. Then you've taken a second HDMI cable from the back of the ripsaw into your TV. Then you've taken your third and final cable, your USB Type-C from the back of the Razer Ripsaw HD to the USB input. Now, if everything is going good, you should see this screen. Then if you did all that, you can see computer on the right, TV on the left. I'm streaming and capturing my PlayStation 4. Me, Dad Games, playing Mortal Kombat 11 on the PlayStation 4. Recording my screen using the Razer Ripsaw HD. I'm not using the front input jack because I have a different microphone with a different setup. But anyway, this is my actual gameplay footage I'm playing right now. That's it. Nuts to bolts. Razer Ripsaw HD. In, bang, boom. In, screen, boom. Captured screenshots. You saw it. I did it. You can do it too. Very super, super simple. Dad Games, subscribe, like. Now we've done it. Now, what would you say? Comments below. Thumbs up? Definitely thumbs up. Do I recommend this? 100%. This is a great little device. It has not failed me at all. I've recorded PlayStation 4 stuff. I've recorded Xbox One X stuff. I've recorded, what is that? That little Super Nintendo thing with the HDMI. I've recorded some stuff from that. This thing has not failed me at all. It is great. Puts out at 4K. That is a super plus. You don't have a cool microphone and all that cool stuff. 
jab it right in there. Headphone stuff. Oh, man. I 100% would recommend the Razer Ripsaw HD. Buy Razer. Dad Games. Two flaming hot thumbs up. Thank you for watching the video. Stay tuned for the next one.